In this video, we'll learn how to switch your website theme between light and dark modes using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, enhancing user experience and accessibility. Don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video helpful, and subscribe to our channel for more awesome content like this. Your support means the world to us and helps us keep creating valuable videos for you. Thank you for being part of our community. This HTML code sets up a button to switch between dark mode and light mode themes. It includes two images, one representing dark mode and the other for light mode. These images are placed inside a button with the id theme switch, which allows users to change themes. The button is contained within a div with the class theme switch container to manage its layout. The dark mode image has the id dark mode button and uses the source dark mode SVG, while the light mode image has the id light mode button and uses the source light mode SVG. You can download the SVG icons for both dark mode and light mode from the description section of this video. Let's break down this CSS code for the theme switch button. First, we have the theme switch container class which positions the container absolutely, placing it 20 pixels from the top and 20 pixels from the right of the nearest position ancestor. This ensures the theme switch button is always located at the top right corner of the page. Next, we style the button with the id theme switch. We remove any default border with border unset, and eliminate default padding with padding, 0. We also set the cursor to pointer, which changes the cursor to a hand icon when hovering over the button, indicating it's clickable. The background color of the button is set to a CSS variable var base color, which allows for easy theme customization. Finally, we style the images inside the button with button hash theme switching. We add 5 pixels of padding around the images, set the background color to a dark shade hashtag 3A435D and apply a border radius of 50% to make the images circular. This makes the button visually appealing and clearly identifiable as a theme switcher. This CSS ensures that the theme switch button is well positioned, interactive, and visually consistent with the overall theme of the website. We define three CSS variables, base color for the page background, base title for card titles, and base secondary for text within cards. The light mode values are light gray, dark gray, and medium gray, respectively. For dark mode, we use the dark mode class to redefine these variables, base color becomes dark gray, base title becomes light gray, and base secondary becomes silver. This method allows easy switching between light and dark themes by updating the variables, ensuring consistency and maintainability. Now, we need to write JavaScript to make this functionality work. Step 1. Retrieve the dark mode setting. We start by checking if the user has a preferred theme stored in local storage. Local storage allows us to store data on the user's browser that persists even after the page is closed. We retrieve the value of dark mode from local storage. If it doesn't exist, dark mode will be null. We also get the button element using document.getElement by id theme switch. This button will let users switch themes. Step 2. Define functions to enable and disable dark mode. We define two functions, enable dark mode and disable dark mode. Enable dark mode, this function adds the class dark mode to the body element. This class will be defined in our CSS to apply dark mode styles. Additionally, we set the value of dark mode to active in local storage, indicating that dark mode is enabled. Disable dark mode, this function removes the dark mode class from the body element, reverting the styles to light mode. It also sets local storage to null indicating that dark mode is not active. Step 3, check and apply the initial dark mode setting. Next, we check if the retrieve dark mode value is active. If it is, the enable dark mode function is called, enabling dark mode when the page loads. This ensures that the user's preference is applied immediately. Step 4, add an event listener to the theme switch button. We attach a click event listener to the theme switch button. When the button is clicked, the function inside the event listener is executed. It retrieves the current dark mode setting from local storage again. If dark mode is not active, dark mode equals equals active, it calls enable dark mode to turn on dark mode. If dark mode is already active, it calls disable dark mode to turn it off. This CSS code controls the visibility of light mode and dark mode buttons based on the body's class. Body not. Dark mode light mode button, display, none, when the body does not have the dark mode class, the light mode button is hidden. Body dark mode dark mode button, 
display, none, when the body has the dark mode class, the dark mode button is hidden. Body dark mode light mode button, display, block, when the body has the dark mode class, the light mode button is shown. These rules ensure that only the appropriate button is displayed based on the current theme, providing a seamless user experience when switching themes.